Hey guys, this is Shauna with One Choice for Your Store, and today I want to show you how to create SEO-friendly page URLs for your Yahoo store. Now see, what happens is most store owners working with a manufacturer dropshipper, they receive one database file that contains all their product information. Then they receive a folder with all their product images. Now the image name usually matches the code of the product. For instance, if we were talking about an R green sweater being sold online, we might give it a code of 123. So the image name would also be 123.gif or 123.jpg. This usually works great for most store owners because the Yahoo store will take that database and use the item code as the page ID. When you use the multiple image upload feature, it matches the page IDs to the image name. The problem with this is that our customers are coming to myurl.com slash 123.html. It's not real customer friendly and it's not real SEO friendly as well. So what I want to do is forget the code. I want to make this sweater have a URL of myurl.com slash greensweater.html. This makes so much more sense. The problem is most store owners that are facing is they change the product URL they upload that file, but then they can't use the multiple image upload feature because now the image names don't match with the page IDs. Most store owners will now upload it one by one. So I'm going to show you how to change those product IDs, easily convert multiple images, and have them match the new product IDs and create super friendly, super SEO product URLs. All right, so here's what we've done so far. We have a column with our IDs. We also have a column with our new IDs. We've also changed over all of our product URLs. So we have everything that we need to actually change over the IDs of our stores. Now that new IDs we're gonna get rid of, but right now we need it. We need it to put into a new file. So what we're gonna do is create a brand new file and we are going to put in the old IDs and the new IDs. Now, hopefully all of your um, images have the same extension, either .gif or .jpg, because what we're doing now is creating a formula that will take the old IDs and add in .gif at the very end. We're going to do the same exact thing for our new IDs as well. So we're going to use that formula to help us put in the actual name of the images. So if you've got some that are back and forth, back and forth, um, you might have to do this once with GIF and then once with JPEG. So now what we want to do is, since we have our formula, we want to copy and then paste special and use the value so we can get rid of those formulas. And we're going to go ahead and delete the old IDs and the new IDs. And we're going to save this as changeids.csv. We want this to be a CSV file. So now we have our program up and it's file renamer basic and we're going to open up the file on the left hand side, the folder on the left hand side that contains all of our images and we're going to uncheck our CSV files and our zip file. Now here's where it gets interesting. What I want you to do is open up a notepad file and open up that change IDs file because this is going to put the name of the old ID and the name of the new ID with the .gif and a comma in between. Copy it and go over to the rename list and just go ahead and paste that entire file. So if we hit the preview button, we can see that all of our images will change over. Then we click apply and we have success. We go look at our folder and we can see that all of our image names have been changed over to the SEO friendly IDs that we need for our Yahoo store. So now in order to upload this to our Yahoo store, we have to go ahead and zip up all that all those files and we'll name this image.zip and we're ready to go. We can use the multiple image upload feature with the Yahoo store plus we can use our database file with the new IDs. Basically though, we have to get rid of the column that contains the old IDs and then rename the new IDs to just I now everything's ready to go for upload in your Yahoo store. It really is that simple. Let's go ahead and do a quick reminder of how to add this to your Yahoo store.
we're going to go in and grab our file and click on the upload button. And now you can choose to add a rebuild. Now we're rebuilding this entire store. Um, I don't recommend using the rebuild button if you're not exactly sure what that does. It will erase everything. So that's what we want in our store because we're just starting brand new and just do, yes, we want to rebuild. And now we're back and all of this has been added. The only thing is now we have to go in and add our images. So click on controls and click on multiple image upload. Locate your file and click on send. Now, if you put in a whole bunch of images here, like thousands of images, um, I recommend doing this part right before you go to bed because you're not going to see this update screen for quite some time. But when it comes up, just click update and then you can go inside of your store and verify that everything worked, all the images are there and that you have some wonderful SEO friendly URLs because that was the whole point of the entire video. So if we double check on this one, we can definitely see our URL has been changed. It looks great. We have our images and we're ready to go. So thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we went over some advanced features for using Excel and using your Yahoo store, but I have a feeling you'll do just fine. Just head on over to One Choice for your store and check out more of our video tutorials. Thanks so much again. Bye-bye.